Hello everyone. Now let's understand the block diagram of the high voltage testing circuit that's used to produce high voltage in high voltage testing lab. Simply, this is the block diagram of the high voltage testing circuit. This block diagram consists of first we have the AC supply, which is AC, and this volt is 220 volt, like the voltage in our homes. Then this voltage is entered to a voltage regulation. Voltage regulation is used to obtain a variable AC voltage. So the output of the voltage regulation is variable voltage can be from 0 to 220 volt. Then this voltage is entered to a high voltage generation. High voltage generation used to produce a high voltage. And this high voltage is entered to the insulator or the specimen or the equipment to be tested to determine the breakdown voltage and dielectric strength of the insulator to ensure the proper operation of the insulator in the electric power system. So this is a block diagram, a simple block diagram of high voltage testing circuit. It's essential that the voltage applied to the specimen or the equipment must be varied smoothly or gradually. Why? We should vary the voltage that's applied to the specimen smoothly and gradually in order to avoid surges on the high voltage side of the transformer. If this uh, high voltage generation is actually a high voltage transformer or high voltage testing transformer, if the rate of change of the voltage is very high, surge current may flow and breakdown may occur at voltage less than the actual breakdown voltage so this is an accurate reading of the breakdown voltage so also for the accuracy in measurement to determine an accurate dielectric strength or breakdown voltage of the specimen so voltage regulation is very important to be used in the high voltage testing circuit to produce a variable voltage and this variable voltage should be varied smoothly and gradually for the following reasons. Methods that can be used for voltage regulation, there are many methods. The first is potential divider regulation, depends on the principle of the potential divider using two resistors or uh, multiple resistors. Regulation by inserting inductance in the supply circuit or regulation using an induction regulator or regulation by means of a tab transformer using a transformer tabs to obtain variable voltage or auto transformer regulation induction regulator is the most commonly used method as it can provide smooth variation of voltage and it's also compact and small in size so this is the block diagram of the high voltage testing circuit in the next lectures we will know how to generate different types of high voltage. Thank you.